Hey y'all. Well, a couple months ago, well, a while back, I'm going to just say it like that. This past summer, last year, matter of fact, I made a video called um, Pros and Cons Sleeping with Headphones Part 2. Before that was in 2018, September 2018. And I thought I'd make a third one, um, kind of like a follow-up because of a new year, of course. Not exactly the same month, but that's like a couple months down the road in July is, but here's May, we're in May. And of course, we've got the issue with the coronavirus, things like that, so um, yeah. But um, the thing that I had with my ears on part two, with the flakiness and the oozingness, that's kinda, I don't have that problem no more. It just kinda went away on its own. I believe what it was is I was working at another company and everything, and I wore well, was, I wore those quite a bit right on that mannequin head, and uh, those are tapped. So I have a had it composed by filter, and I wore those quite a bit. And then when I got home at night, you know, I put on my oh, uh, where are they? These or Tunes Connect, you know, and everything. Not these particular ones, but um. Very similar to well, they 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 were them, but not the actual individual pair. That's, that's what I'm trying to get at. Um, and so with those and everything, they kind of um, you know made my ears sweaty and itchy, I guess. Um, but it seems now because I'm back at my old job in security, um, I go to bed at a different time. I go to bed at least by two thirty. Um, or from 2 to 10 during the week and then um, on Saturday I go back to my first job that I had which is um, when I held for almost 10 years and uh, I only work Saturday nights from 5 to 5 so I get home in the morning and about 5.30 and I go to bed probably like, like 7 now just for one day, one day during the week but other than that I go to work from 2 to 10 you know so I, I usually go to bed about 2.30 and um, <clears throat> so it's a lot better on me now. I get better sleep. And um, still, though, there are times when I just can't sleep, you know, because a loud mouth over here. Right here. Right here. You're a loud mouth, aren't you? You bark a lot, don't you? Yeah. Anyway, because of him, it's kind of hard to sleep. And at the point, up until two months ago almost, there used to be a lot of buses going up and down the street here and everything up the drive here. There's a driveway that goes up to the uh, school above us here where Seth used to go. And, um, you know, that that's non-existent at this point in time because of coronavirus. And now we've got cars going back and forth, of course, and some of them are loud. You know, and they've got neighbors next door. They blared the music a lot. And, of course, like I said, Herbie. And um, there are times when Seth's playing his uh, phone in there or playing a game that I'd like to have some peace and quiet. So these really do help out a lot, these, this headset here. And uh, I was using uh, Sherpa Fleece, but I went from Sherpa Fleece to uh, uh, Sheepskin. Because what happened was I ordered, uh, I seen this thing online, well actually on eBay. Uh, a bunch of earmuffs that they had and I figured hey people at work would like to have some of those people have gotten to know and so I ordered a big old box full of them most of them were sheepskin and I still got some of them left actually and um yeah for the most part I got rid of just about all of them and um uh, I found that sheepskin worked a lot better than Sherpa fleece because sheepskin is natural it's um it protects your ears as far as it keeps them cool during the summer and it keeps them warm during the winter and so uh, sheepskin naturally does that because people wear them in jackets and seat covers and stuff like that and different other things they use them in medical things for them. hey that's what I gotta do with <clears throat> so anyway um, they use them in different applications as far as um, sheepskin is concerned so that's what I tried and that's what works best for me as far as wearing um, 3M Pelter work to, I mean these are not work tunes but these are um, 
WS 100s and those were um like industrial um things like that and they protect your hearing plus they um you can make calls on them and stuff i took the boom mic off of them so um and that's where you plug in for your adapter and your power cord and that's where the um boom mic went of course you got your ambient and hearing and stuff you can turn it up for the music or whatever watching the video or the ambient listening it's just like you got super hearing with these things and it was the same way with the ones i wore to work over those were the same way you can hear all kind of stuff with those ones. <clears throat> and um i lined those with the uh, fleets as well before i let that job and anyway and i also had those right there which were work tunes connect plus am fm radio and they were a uh, um, upgraded model of the wireless but anyway um i found that works what works best for me is to have yeah you know, these right here of course i changed the headband band out on them they were a little bit different and um putting on the gels these are pro here gels called pro here and then uh lining them with the um with the sheepskin and it's you can probably see a little bit i don't know if i just hold at a certain angle it kind of makes like a uh there we go it looks like a plug of sheepskin fur almost because that's what goes against my ear that's it kind of conformed to my ear right there so whenever i sleep at night i usually doing like that, like this i use my hand for like a spacer and I got the little, I got the headphone on my over my ear and the sheepskin lining in it, and so I usually go to sleep like that. It's easy for me. Some people can't do that. I've gotten used to it. And then whenever I go to sleep and everything, I eventually settle on my back. Sometimes, not all the time. My son can come here and wake me up sometimes when I'm on my side, you know. And um, it doesn't always work that way, but it depends on how soft my pillow is and it just depends on what you want i guess and some people get these pillows with a hole in them you know with a and they can rest the ear inside of that that's probably better but if you're sleeping with headphones you really need to have something that's pretty comfortable not just something some earbud or whatever sticks in your ear or some kind of thing just lays on top because eventually all that it's going to squash and it's going to hurt your ears it's going to cause ear pain that's why i came up with an idea of uh, the sheepskin I went from the Sherpa, I went from cuddle fleece to Sherpa fleece to just regular sheepskin and it works the best. Out of all of that, it works the best because you got different naps of sheepskin. Some of them is thin, some of them is plush. It just, it just depends on the age of the animal, you know, um, before he diseases for the bird and he has or the wool, whatever. And, um, it just depends like in my case here to what i got in here and these this headset and of course this work to connect headset this one right here it's a little bit more softer i guess it comes from a lamb and you can tell it by looking at it and this one right here you probably come from a, a older sheep it's a little bit more it's not rough but it's a little bit a little less soft a little bit thicker and so it just depends i got those from autozone and what it was is a seat belt cover that went over your seat belt and i took it and cut them out and put them in those and plus i got the um the you know, gels the ones on these are alpha academy they're about a bit more stiffer well not as stiff but they hold the form really well as you can see i've had those for quite a while and these of course like i said are pro here they do pretty good too but um they're kind of basically depends on what i sleep on my side or whatever they kind of you know not holding up as much as they were before and they're not really meant to sleep in but these are not meant to sleep in but i do anyway they're meant to block out a little, make the headset more comfortable especially when you're in an industrial setting when you're outside in the yard shooting or what have you um, they're, they're, that's what they're made for.
they're not made for sleeping in. But, you know, I kind of take them beyond that, of course. Because I'm weird that way. Ah, oh, yeah, that felt good. I had to pop my knee. But, um, anyway, <laughs> they're pretty good about that. So, um, that's what works for me. It might not work for you, whatever. But, um, it just depends on what kind of headphone you get. Or if it's earbuds, it's probably not a good idea. Uh, something that goes over the on the ear thing, that's not a good idea. You want over the ear, circumoral. Um, and some people can just have like a speaker, Bluetooth speaker. Maybe that works for them. Um, but I find it's better to have something around my ears to kind of seal things off. And especially when I lay on my side, I got to have something that's more I have that is a, a cushion, and that's what the gel the gels do. And of course the uh, of course the um, the sheepskin really does a good job at making the cushion better because there's a cushion for your inner ear and you, also for the outside part but what's the cushion for the side of your head is that gel that gel ear cushion and um, they, like I said they hold up pretty good so anyway just wanted to share that pretty quick and I didn't want to make this into a long video like I did before and uh, with the other ones and maybe not, I might not get on that many views that's okay but the first one I got was like over a thousand views um, pros and cons that's back in September 2018 and the last one I made was back in July 2019 and that was like 20 some odd views but oh well you gotta have a part three so especially in this coronavirus time you know I don't know why I just it just seems appropriate um <clears throat> but anyway um there we go so there's pros and cons some other headphones might work well other ones might not but um i think you want uh, the most comfort you can get out of headphones or whatever ones you sleep in and the best ones you can get out of that is something that's against your ear that either brings it comfort like the, the sheepskin and also something that cush cushions side of your head to where your ear fits inside that ear cup that, that headphone piece nicely and doesn't cause a lot of tension and a lot of friction in there and so that's what you need anyway hope you enjoyed the video and you know all that other stuff and we'll see you later bye